Hi, this is Bernard Koenig, BK Solutions. Today we're going to talk about ice dam and the problems of ice dams and how to be able to remedy those. So I propose the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go inside and sketch that on a piece of paper and then we come back and have a look how it looks like in real life. Thank you. This is your roof. This is your exterior wall. And uh, in here it's nice and warm. And out here it's quite cold. So overnight we had some snow. Oh, let's put the goddess in here too. So overnight or during the day you got some snow and it covered your roof. It looks beautiful. Unfortunately what's going to happen is here is you have a lot of energy in here and depending how much insulation you have above you some of that nice warmth inside your house is gonna leave the house and it's gonna get underneath your roof and it's gonna melt some of that thick layer of snow and you can have water coming down the roof which is not a bad thing having water on top of the roof you would think because you have shingles and shingles, the way they build is this overlapping material. As long as the water goes downwards, that's not a problem. The big issue is if the water comes the other way around, upwards. So, as you can see now here, we have the exterior wall. And we're here already on the outside. So, there's no source of energy anymore here, keeping the roof warm. So, you're going to start to get large amount of ice up here in this area because the water once it crosses that magic line of your interior wall it's going to reach a cold area and build up what we call the ice dam once you have a significant size of ice dam with some icicles here water starts to build up here and just sits here and depending how high that line goes it's somewhere it's going to find its way down either inside your walls or on the outside of your exterior wall, or even worse, it goes right into your living space. And that's when normally you realize you do have an ice dam problem. But it's a bit late at that stage because the damage has already been caused. And uh, you're going to most likely have to spend a substantial amount of money to redo either the outside or the inside of your house. So let's talk about how we can prevent this in the future. So what is an ice dam? Ice dam is as the word says there's ice involved and what it does it creates like a big package of ice here at the very end preventing the melting snow water to get to the gutters and leave the house and go into the leader system and the ice then get bigger higher the water gets trapped behind it and suddenly the water is able to go behind the shingles. You can see also, it's kind of interesting, uh, those icicles only there where the roof is poorly insulated. Because as soon as we follow that roof line, you can see the further out, there's no icicles. And the reason is that the ceiling construction is different. I have a flat ceiling, not a cathedral ceiling anymore. Therefore, uh, I could put in R50 insulation value on top of it, and uh, there's no icicles. Same orientation, everything remains the same, it's just no ice, and no ice dams. Same thing here, if you look up here, no icicles. That's because this attic has been heavily insulated, and air sealed, of course. So what could you do if you have an ice dam like that? Well, there are a few things you should never ever try to do. First of all, you do not climb on your roof. That's step number one, unless you wear a harness. Number two is you do not use an ice pick or any mechanical uh, processes to remove the ice because most likely you're going to puncture either your gutter system or you're going to hit the shingles and uh, you're going to perforate the shingles. So you're going to create more damage than good. Um, from my point of view, the only way to properly solve that problem is to remove the source of your ice dam and that's the snow. So that chunk of snow here has to be removed 
Once there's no snow, there can be no further water running down the roof and it cannot build up on the ice dam. So that would be your first bet. Secondly, you want to get rid of the ice dam here and I would highly recommend just to use hot water. Uh, hot water is benign. It doesn't create any additional damages. You can stop at any time if you realize something is not working the way it's supposed to work. And most importantly, melt the ice down here first and work your way upwards. Do not introduce warm water up here because what's going to happen is that water is going to come down here as well. So what can you do if you have an ice dam? Well, the first thing you should do is call a roofer and ask a professional to remove the snow above your ice dam. That should stop the water or further more water to come down that roof and being stopped by the ice dam. Then uh, long term, you're going to have to make some changes to the installation value of your roof because clearly you have too much energy going through the ceiling further up underneath the roof melting the snow underneath your roof and that melted snow which is water is going to come down the slope roof and once it reaches the outside of your roof it cools off again and turns back to ice so that process has to be stopped once you insulate your attic with a thick layer of insulation, your roof is going to remain cold and the snow is not going to melt, which is a good sign. I mean, if you see homes around you with no snow on the top, that's not a good sign. That means they're poorly insulated. So you want to make sure you have a thick layer of insulation up there, keeping your roof cold, no snow melting. Uh, the snow melting only is going to melt if the sun shines, which is fine. And the sun is the, for the driving force which should remove the snow on your roof, not the heating system inside your house. So if you have a house here in Westchester, don't hesitate to call me. I'm going to try to help you and find a long-term solution for your ice dam problem. Thank you very much.